So here you can see I have an audio and if I were to play it, you'll start hearing clap sounds. So this is a test recording where I'm going to remove the clap sound over here by using the healing breast tool. So what I want to do is I want to remove just the clap sounds. In order to do that, I can use something called the healing breast tool. So in order to access that, over here you can see that there's a handle. So if I would just click and drag over here, you can see that you start seeing the graphical representation of the audio wave. So let me just drag it up. Over here at the top, there are the high uh, pitch sounds and over here at the bottom are the lower pitch sounds right there. So lower frequency sounds, medium frequency sounds. So let us see how we can work with it. So you can see that I have a marquee selection tool right here. If I were to select this and delete it, only the higher frequency sound remains. So let us see how that sounds like. You don't hear much because there are nothing much on the higher frequency sound here. So I can do the same for the top part, just like this. I just remove the higher frequency sound and the sharpness will actually get removed. So this is a test recording where I you can hear that out. So let me just remove this out as well and hear how that sounds. So this sounds. is a test recording where I'm going to remove the. You can see that it sounds more of a like a radio effect just like that. So I can also use uh, the paint brush tool right here to actually remove part of the sound like this, press delete. And what it does is it smoothens that out. So you can just use this right here and reduce the sound like that, right? So once you do that, you can see that the part of the audio actually just disappears. But the main thing we are focusing on here is uh, the brush tool itself to remove the sound. So that is how you can work with our audio waves as well. So here you can see that I have an audio clip with a lot of clap sounds. So here you can see that I have an audio clip with a lot of clap sounds. So over here you can see that I have an audio clip. If I were to play it, you'll start hearing clap sounds. So here you can see that I have an audio clip with a lot of clap sounds. So there are clap sounds over here which I want to remove. And to do that, I can use something called the healing brush tool. In order to access it, you can just go over here at the bottom, as you can see, and you get this icon, and I can simply click and drag it up. Once I do that, you can start seeing that you get the graphical representation of the sound itself. The lower area over here represents the higher, uh, the lower frequency sound, while the higher area represents the higher frequency sound. And you can see that there is something like um, like, like a stick over here, four sticks just like that in the clap area. So let us hear that out and confirm it. So here you can see that I have an audio clip with a lot of clap sounds. So where it is sharp and it is standing up like a stick, you can hear that there's clap sound. So if I, uh, if we have a chance to remove that out, the clap sound will be reduced. In order to do that, you can go over here at the top and there's a spot healing brush tool just like this. You can adjust the size of the uh, uh, of the brush right here by clicking and dragging or by entering the value by clicking on it. For example, I can make it 50 pixels just like this. I can also increase and decrease the value by pressing the Lars bracket keys right there. So I can also go over here and what I want to do is remove this part. So what I want to do is this is an automatic healing brush tool. So let me just click and drag and it'll smooth out that area just like that. So it is smoothing it out as you can see and you can see that the clap has been removed and there is some line still remaining over here. Let me just drag it across and let's hear how that sounds like. All right, so let us hear that out and see if the clapping sound has been removed. So here you can see that I, so it is not perfect, but you can see that the clapping has been significantly reduced. So let us do the same for this one. Right, so that has been removed. Have an audio clip where the, so it sounds like a tuck, but the clapping has been removed. Let's do uh, continue the same for all. Right, 
and let us hear the final result. And you can also see that the audio waveform changed. So here you can see that I have an audio clip with a lot of clap sounds. So it may not be perfect, but it did help us to reduce most of the noise right here. So you can see that there's still a bit of an issue over here, which you can uh, manually adjust later on, just like this, to make sure that uh, it does uh, reduce a bit. You can see that. So that is how you can use Healing Brush Tool to remove clapping so uh, sounds and other noises inside of Adobe Audition. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.